Good morning. Welcome to our thought for this day, this 21st of April. It's good to have you with us. And our reading this morning is a key bit of scripture that's been held in high regard ever since Moses penned it. It's Deuteronomy 6, and we're going to only read the first 15 verses. Now, this is the commandment, the statutes and ordinances that the Lord your God charged me to teach you to observe in the land that you're about to cross into and occupy, so that you and your children and your children's children may fear the Lord your God all the days of your life and keep all his decrees and his commandments that I'm commanding you, so that your days may be long. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe them diligently, so that it may go well with you, and that you may multiply greatly in the land flowing with milk and honey, as the Lord, the God of your ancestors, has promised you. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Keep these words that I am commanding you today in your heart. Recite them to your children and talk about them when you're at home and when you're away, when you lie down and when you rise. Bind them as a sign on your hand. Fix them as an emblem on your forehead and write them on your doorposts of your house and your gates. When the Lord your God brought you into the land that he swore to your ancestors, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give you, a land with fine, large cities that you did not build, houses filled with all sorts of goods that you did not fill, hewn cisterns that you did not hew, vineyards and olive groves you did not plant, and when you've eaten your fill, Take care that you do not forget the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. The Lord your God, you shall fear him, you shall serve, and by his name alone you shall swear. Do not follow other gods, any of the gods of the peoples who are all around you, because the Lord your God who is present with you is a jealous God. The anger of the Lord your God would have been kindled against you and he would destroy you from the face of the earth. Many people in the West, in the 21st century, find it hard to believe there is one truth or one God. They find it easier to believe there are lots of versions of truth or angles on the truth. We all then choose the truth that makes sense to us all that we like. Life is like a supermarket, yet at the same time we're torn apart by cultural wars between right and left, liberal and conservative, atheist and believers. Asserting that my truth is as good as your truth does imply the conviction your truth also is as good as my truth. The challenge. Listen, Israel, Yahweh, our God is one is the central expectation of the Old Testament faith. In Judaism, it's known by the word for listen. It is Shema. It is the central affirmation of the Jewish Orthodox faith. For Israel, the question was not merely whether there is one God, but who is this God? And whether people acknowledge this God and repudiate God, others. Declaring that Yahweh is one does not imply there is, sorry, declaring that Yahweh is one does imply there is only one God and has a focal affirmation that Yahweh is God and the God of the Canaanites called Master is not God. Such beings are gods, but not God or the God. The Old Testament does not dispute that there are many supernatural beings, but it knows that Yahweh belongs to a unique class of heavenly being, a class with only one member. Yahweh is the creator, all these other beings, and the the one with the sovereignty over them. 
they are all Yahweh's underlings and aides, but often not very faithful ones. An important affirmation that follows from this, God was content for other people to worship different gods who are the real God's underlings and servants. For Israel, that is not possible. Yahweh is the one and the only God the Israelites should worship. The same is true for us today. So in this complex age and the, at this time, how ready are you to declare there is only one God that you worship and that he is the true God? Are you ready to give yourself to God, to love him with your whole mind, with your whole self, your whole heart, with all that you are? This was central to the Jewish faith and is central to our faith. How ready are we to stand by these words and not follow other gods? Thank you for joining me in our thought for the day. May you have a blessed day.